What is good, YouTube, man? 2K21 has been out a couple weeks now, and uh, look at this, man. Post-fade, hitting a white. If you guys don't know, I am here to tell you, post-scores are broken, all right? You can score, like, look at this. This guy jumps perfectly. This post-scorer still greens it. This dude has his rim badge. He's still getting hooked on. Also, shout out to my man, Beast. Best post score in NBA 2K21. These clips and stuff, this is his account. This is his post score. I'm going to leave his channel link in the description. And he's going to be the top comment on this video. If you guys have any post scoring questions, if you want to see somebody streaming, the 1v1 core, you know, somebody post hook and somebody post fading, definitely go drop them a subscribe. And uh, let's get into it, man. So if you guys have never been a post score before, this is the year to make it. And the one thing you need to do, the secret to make you un beatable as a post score in NBA 2K21 is to use the shot stick aiming. Now you guys know Mike Wang said if you can time your shot with the shot stick, you're going to be unstoppable this year. You're going to get a huge shooting boost and that works for things like shot creators, sharpshooters, but the main position it is helping is post scores. It's a lot easier to use the post stick or the, the joystick to shoot a post fade and a post hook and if you guys don't know how to do it beast is going to drop a full tutorial on it but once you can get it down post hooks and post fades are already op the closer you are to the basket the more op they are but if you put on deep hooks hall of fame and you put on deep fades hall of fame you got pro touch you got consistent finisher all these badges make it to where you can shoot hooks you can shoot fades like look at this he is shooting from the top of the free throw line hitting a green defenders i mean you know you can try to stop this but you can't let him get to the paint he is a post score and if he hits you with a hook it's automatically going to give him some space and it's just completely unguardable watch this peak you know he's got body contact beast hits him with the spin he's staying enough away from him that he can get a fade off anytime he is shooting from almost the free throw line and he hits free throw line and threes it's crazy i mean the amount of stuff he does is just ridiculous and i got three gameplays to really show you you know him just going off he's in the 1v1 stage court and as you can see his build is an interior force if you want the build definitely go check it out on his channel but he's going up against a guard i'm telling you right now if you're a guard you better be you better you better be on your stuff offensively because if you give a post score the ball two three four times even once and you're done for it look at that he shot a very early because timing does not matter, but he got it in the center, so it's still green. If you use the shot stick, you don't have to worry about aiming anymore. You can just get it in the, in the little yellow line you saw right there. He shot a white. The worst thing about this is Beast shoots a lot of greens with this, but I was trying to get gameplays where he doesn't even hit all the greens. I tried to get it to where he was hitting whites because a lot of post scorers, you know, they won't even time it that good. But as long as you use the shot stick and it's kind of timed well, it's going to go in, especially if you don't get a good contest. It, it is not the easiest thing in the world to get a contest on a post score. Now, I don't know what's going on right there. He was lagging. He got a shot off. He's got the board. This dude is playing back. Watch this right there you know pretty deep if you're that defender if you're a guard you're thinking all right well i'm gonna make him shoot you know i don't want him to get in the paint drop step me because drop steps post spins those things are also op this year so you want to post score to kind of shoot far away to kind of you know work for their bucket because if not look now this dude's trying to make sure he doesn't get a deep fade or he's gonna green it so he goes out a little bit too far beast gets into the paint and that's an automatic bucket to go along with the automatic hooks this dude's running out of bounds like i said he is a guard he got a perfect contest right there and it says 10 percent shot stick aiming doesn't even need to be agreed now he's got the post takeover and offensively post scoring takeover is the best takeover in nba 2k21 by far if you get this let's say you got 20 points and you have a takeover to activate you would want to have the post scoring takeover because it is for sure a bucket it's going to help you drop step somebody it's going to help you post hook post fade it gives you the ability to just knock people out of the way and uh you know a nice thing about it too is you get and he misses that out of all shots he misses he misses that that just tells you you know 2k21 <laughs> it's not the most uh you know competitive game in the world but hey man it is it's fun and we got two months until the uh new gen so hey it is whatever but you see he's still hooking on people post scoring takeover though does give you a plus tit on interior defense as well if you guys didn't know i know a lot of people be forgetting about that so not only are you going to dominate offensively with this but you can start going crazily defensively with it as well. You see, it's 18-0. to zero. I mean, this is a point guard. I do expect this to happen. I'm going to have a couple more gameplays. One against a rim protector and one against another post scorer. So you can just see how absolutely ridiculous shot stick aiming is, post scoring takeover is, post scores in general. I'm telling you guys right now. 
get in the my court if you're a post scorer learn how to use that shot stick because look at this this man is on an 18 game win streak in the stage and if you guys know going on streaks in the stage isn't the easiest thing to speak usually you're going to be playing better comp now i'm not going to lie there's still you know pretty bad players in the stage but 18 games, there's no way he hasn't gone up against some, you know, very toxic post scores like himself, as you can see here. This dude's name is Vernal Interior Force. Now, the one thing about Beast Build is he made it shorter than the average post score. A lot of these post scores he's going to be going up against are 7'3". He actually made his dude 7 foot just to be more mobile, just to kind of fit in if he plays like 2s, 3s, Rex. But it kind of works out for him anyway because, you sure, you know, 7'3". Seven, seven threes probably plays better interior defense, but he's a bit more mobile and he can still get the hooks off. You see, this dude is ginormous. You're wondering how is he gonna possibly score on a big post score like this? And boom, he goes up with something crazy. He tried to hook it and gave him a bad layup. But hey, man, the offensive players get the rebounds this year. I know you guys have been playing. You're in the paint against Contest in the center. He gets his own rebound four or five times right there. Boom. It looks like you got a pretty decent contest. 14%. That's not the worst contest in the world. But hey, man, it's green. Like I said, Hot Zone Hunter, Pro Touch, Consistent, Deep Hooks. All these badges are helping with, are helping with post fades and post hooks. He gets a little post hop shot right there. With the post hop shots, he actually uses the button for that just because it's easier to get the jump. So he's not getting the boost there, but even so, he's still hitting it, which is crazy. If you're hitting it without the button timing, and then you already know if you're going to be timing getting that ginormous, you know, that giant boost that you get, it's going to be going in every time. And they did patch this. I waited to make this video because they said they were going to make it where you can't hit every single shot with the shot stick aiming. And I was like, all right, bet this might not be OP. But after the patch, this is post-patch, and you can see, I mean, this dude's getting contests. Beast is shooting white post hooks, and uh, it's still going in. Even right there, that was just barely in the yellow, and it still goes in. Now, of course, he's got badges, he's got hot spots, it's helping him out. But what are you to do, you know, you're playing a 1v1 goal, cool. you're playing make it, take it. If people are hitting shots like that, how are you supposed to win against a good post score? Not even a great post score, you know, one that's going to green everything, but just a good one who's hitting white. You see he drop steps him out of the way. This dude's actually getting contests in the paint. If Beast just thought straight post hooks like this right here, then he would never lose. He tries to do other things, and, you know, I'm sure I'm sure he even feels bad with the amount of shots he hits. If you've seen some clips, like, he gets the, he gets the ball force picked up at the three-point line. He uses the shots to game, and he fades it. It goes in. It's just insanity. And, you know, 14-0. to zero. Now he's got the post takeover. He drives by. Let me know if you guys are a post scorer. Now, the one weakness I would say is, you know, something like Wreck 3v3 where it's not make it, take it. It's, you know, back and back and forth, back and forth. The one thing about this is it won't be as easy to get three-pointers off. And twos are just twos at the end of the day. A lot of people playing threes. A lot of people playing Wreck. They don't care about twos. They're more worried about threes. But hey, man, you're still out there. You can still get automatic twos, and sometimes that's all you need, especially when the game's closer, especially if you get like a five-point lead. As long as you're getting your twos, you are going to stay in the lead. You see this, 20 points. How is he going to finish it? I mean, is he going to bully him? Is he going to hook? Is he going to fade? He's, you know, in the paint, and boo. Not, and it says excellent, you know, with the timing. I don't even know how that works, to be honest. Like, if you if you get an excellent timing, but the shot stick aiming's wrong, do you still get a good boost? I have no idea, but you see he's down 8-0 against Locks with a Q. I mean, shout out to the man you already know. It's not looking good, and this dude's a lot taller than Beast. His interior defense should be basically a brick wall down there, but let's see how Beast gets the ball. This dude posting him up. He's actually hitting Beast with the same stuff. You see he's using that shot aiming. Every post score you play against is basically going to be using that because they know. They know it's just going to be unguardable. 8-0 to zero though. Let's see what Beast can do. I mean, like I said, this dude's going to be a good defender. His name is Locks. Beast is selling right off the bat, giving him back the ball. And as you guys can see, you know, his build has no Hall of Fame defense, but he flops. He gets a contest on the ground. You're still going to be able to play decent defense, even with a post score, even without Hall of Fame defensive badges, which makes this build such a good build for the 1v1 court, for the 2v2 court, if you got somebody spotting up. 10-0. to 0. This dude, you know, making some mistakes. He should get more space. He should just be hooking. Not sure what he's doing. But Beast's got the ball now. 10-0. to 0. He sold the first play. What can he do now? Free throw line. Post hook. Hey, man. What, what can you do? You see, he's only got the gold badges, too. This isn't even Hall of Fame. This is gold deep hooks. Gold hot zone hunter. If he's shooting that deep with gold deep hooks. How far can you shoot with Hall of Fame deep hooks? It's crazy. Hitting them. Beast does a lot of spins. Greening another shot. Very late timing. Excellent release, though. 
And as you can see, 4 to 10. It's pretty easy to get post scoring takeover as well. You see volume shooters activating. Hey, man, I, I don't, I, I wouldn't think that volume shooting would work for post hooks, but hey, it's activating. So he's getting all the boosts in the world. This dude's jumping. It's because he's trying to predict when he's going to do the hook, when he's going to do the fade. And that's kind of what you have to do, especially if somebody's in there bad using the shot stick. You have to get contest. You can't just let him get, you know, those 10%, those 15%. They're not going to do the trick. You see this guy, you know, staying more in the paint, letting him shoot farther away a 15 percent a 10 percent is not enough you have to get so good at timing the jump and even if you get a great contest there's still a good chance it's dropping so amen if you can help it try to stay away from these post scores unless you have a post score you see that it looked like it was going to bounce off the top of the rim but the shot stick aiming gave him the boost i played the 1v1 court with my uh, mid-range playmaker my pure playmaker build and you know i was on it but i missed one shot i gave a post score the ball and this dude made me pay you see beast doing it again getting a super close range if you never ever want to miss a hook with this strategy just get as close as possible i mean if you're shooting from the top of the free throw line you might miss you know one out of every 10 but if you're that close it's unstoppable and once you get post takeover you really want to win just do post hooks man just do post fades aim that shot stick don't worry about if they contest because with that post takeover that contest is gonna mean nothing beast hitting them with the hop shop right there doesn't use the stick uses the button you see he's almost more used to using the shot stick than he is the button times that so bad and he misses it with post takeover and that's how it should be you know if they don't time the shot right they should miss and that'll work with that's the that's the difference between the button and the stick and you see right here gets a really good contest very lucky that missed because that definitely could have went in intimidator was big right there but you know it's not it's not the hardest thing in the world to, to time the shot stick not even time it aim with the shot stick it's pretty easy once you get used to it you know mike wayne said skill gap skill gap skill gap but it's not really a skill gap it's more of a uh it's more of like a build gap you know because it works best with post hooks with post fades and i mean if you played a shot creator using it on fades those are super tough too but with a post score it's just that much more you see 18 to 0 two buckets is all he needs this dude is jumping like i said what else is he supposed to do he cannot allow Beast to get a post hook or a post fade off without getting a great contest. So he's got to chance it. He's got to risk it. And you see here, 10 to 20. Beast spinning three, four, five times with the hook. Bang. Get him out of here. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. This is time. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.